This is Professor Pelton. This is Trigonometry, Chapter 1, Section 5, Trigonometric Functions of Any Angle. This is Part 1 of the video. So, now we want to uh, evaluate giving a coordinate, but that coordinate could be anything, not necessarily in a unit circle. So if you drew a circle all the way around, okay, that coordinate could be a unit circle, but our radius might not necessarily be 1. Okay, so we're going to scale this up infinitely, and we're going to work with any angle, which, which, whether it's positive or negative, whether it's less than 360 or th more than 360 here. So this is the culminating section of the chapter. So as you can see, when you draw a coordinate in the unit circle, you can draw a, tr draw a triangle, no matter what quadrant you're in, you can always make a triangle, unless it's on the actual axes, which we'll cover later on. So as a result, we're going to redefine the six trig functions uh, the same way we did before with one modification. Before, we didn't specify the r because the r was 1. Now we're going to add r into the definitions for each of these six trig functions. Okay? And remember, you can get the r using the Pythagorean theorem because essentially you know, a squared equals b squared. I'm sorry, I got that wrong c squared equals b squared plus a squared, or a squared plus b squared, but c is actually r in this case, and the x and y are the legs. So if I square root, I get r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. And we do not need to do plus or minus, because only the positive answer is valid in this case. Okay, So let's use these new trig definitions, which are just modifications of the old ones, with r radius not 1, to evaluate trig functions. So given an angle, and that angle will be give us in the third quadrant, so regardless of what that angle is, it'll give us a coordinate of negative 3, negative 5. So we cannot just simply take the x and y value and call that cosine and sine. That will not work. It's typically we say x is cosine, y is sine. This makes a triangle, right? Whereas this is negative 3 and this is negative 5 corresponding. So our radius here is r. So r squared equals negative 3 squared plus negative 5 squared. So r equals the square root of 9 plus 25. r equals the square root of 34. Okay, well 34 is 2 times 17, so that will not break apart and do not round the answers. That would make significant um, problems in calculations later on in the word problems. Do not do that. Okay, so if we use the, so this is root 34, the trig definitions from the prior page, sine is y over r. Okay. Also, if you look at the triangle, this is the angle we're evaluating here. And if you do opposite over hypotenuse, it's also negative 5 over, negative five over 34. So cosine is x over r. And if you look at the triangle, it's also adjacent over hypotenuse. And of course, the last one, uh, tangent, is y over x, which is also, if you look at the triangle using the angle, adjacent right, this is adjacent, and that is opposite. So opposite over adjacent will give us 5 thirds also. So get the other trig functions, all you have to do is reciprocate. So root 34 over 5, negative. Root 34 over 3, negative. And 3 over 5, positive. All right, pause the video, try the student problem for yourself. Okay, for the student problem, we're the, we are the coordinate 1, negative 3. So we cannot simply assume that this x is cosine and that y is sine in this case, because clearly the radius is not 1. So we have a 1 and a negative 3, so our radius is here. So r squared equals 1 squared plus negative 3 squared. So r equals the square root of 1 plus 9, which r equals the square root of 10. 10 is 2 times 5, which therefore the radical cannot be broken down. So that is the value we're going to have to use. Do not round and give the decimal value. So sine is defined by y over r. Cosine is defined by um, x over r. And again, if you put the angle in there, which is right here, this little corner angle, a little hard to draw, do opposite over hypotenuse and adjacent over hypotenuse, you get these same. So there's more than one way to get these answers. 
for the ratios of the sides based on the angle, because that's what trig is, uh, these trig functions. So tangent is the y over x, or simply sine over cosine, or opposite over adjacent. So again, there's three ways to get tangent. y over r, opposite over adjacent using SOHCAHTOA, or sine over cosine using the trig identity. So there's three ways to get it. So this is root 10 over negative 3, root 10 over 1, or 1 over 3, and you simply put the negative there. Okay, let's go to the next page. So those are all examples where the coordinate lands somewhere in the unit circle other than the axes. So if we do land on the axes, <coughs> we'll get quadrantal angles. Okay, so the terminal side is on the axis itself. What you notice is you do not make triangles, so you cannot rely on SOHCAHTOA now as a result. SOHCAHTOA also only works for right triangles, so in the future when we do non-right triangles, that will also be an issue. So you can't rely on SOHCAHTOA unless it's a right triangle. All right, so if I use the formal definitions, sine is 0 over 1, otherwise y over r. And cosine is x over r and tangent is y over x. So if I flip these, I get 1 over 0, 1 over 1, and 1 over 0. Some students leave these as the solutions. These are not the solutions. You need to s simplify them and specify. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 0. This is undefined, because you cannot divide by 0. This is 1, and that is undefined. Okay, let's do one more. So let's say I have a 90 degree angle. So the first one was 0 degrees, because I did move off the axes. The next one's 90 degrees. So if I do y over r, and then I do x over r, and then I do y over x, and I can reciprocate all those answers. 1 over 1, 1 over 0, 0 over 1. Okay, so I get 1 here, 0, undefined, because you can't divide by 0. 0, undefined, and 1. All right, pause the video. Try the student problems for yourself. Okay, for the student problems, we're going to do 180 degrees. So sine is defined as y over r. Cosine is defined as x over r. And then y over x is the tangent. So if I reciprocate, 1 over 0, 1 over negative 1, negative 1 over 0. So I get, I get 0, negative 1, 0, undefined, negative 1, and undefined. Okay. All right, last one, 270 degrees. So we have uh, y over r x over r, and then y over x. So we have, if we flip them, we have 1 over negative 1, 1 over 0, and 0 over negative 1. So our final answers are negative 1, 0, undefined, 0, undefined, and negative 1. So you're asking yourself, what about the ones more than 360? Well, if I go more than 360, that is fine. I can still end up on a uh, on a different um, uh, axis, that's fine. It'd be the same exact answers, okay? Because any one of these, if you add 360, you get back to the same spot. That is the end of part one.